So I had to cancel my original lunch reservation because I completely overslept. But luckily DNC Bistro still accepted orders until 2.30 on a Tuesday. So we ended up going there instead. And man am I glad I overslept because this was probably one of the nicest lunches I've had in Taipei. As soon as you walk in, the ceiling is probably the first thing you'll notice. Absolutely gorgeous, consisting of seven colors, each block individually mounted in place. They have a pretty nice a la carte menu and both a lunch and dinner set menu, which was really good value for money. So we decided to order from the lunch set menu which included an appetizer or a salad, a soup, a main course, coffee or tea, and a dessert. Tim had a calamari appetizer which was beautifully presented, but a surprisingly huge portion. I, on the other hand, went for the chef salad, which was also huge and included shrimp, salmon, chicken, bacon, dried tomatoes, corn, beetroot, to name a few of the things on the plate. Today's daily soup was mushroom soup, served like a cappuccino and this was probably the nicest mushroom soup I've had since 2012 when I used to own my own little restaurant that served mushroom soup. Our waiter Sky was super friendly and helpful and explained how the mushroom soup was made. First the mushrooms are fried on a teppanyaki plate, then they're baked, then blended, then cooked with homemade chicken broth and the quality is definitely in the taste. On their lunch set menu, they have a couple of choices for mains, including pork tenderloin at 780 NT, seared salmon at 1,080 NT, even slow cooked oxtail at 1,180 NT. Tim went for the steak chimichurri at 1,080 NT. And I had the mushroom risotto at 880 NT, which came with three delicious baked mushrooms on the side. And remember, the price includes an appetizer and the soup and the dessert and coffee and tea. Incredibly good value for money if you ask me. After our main course, we still had a choice of coffee or tea. I went for a coffee option and for dessert we had apple pie. and the chocolate temptation. The bathroom is small but really clean with nice smelly things inside. And last but not least, do take note of the huge slab of tree inside this restaurant. They imported it from South Africa and use it as a divider in their restaurant.